So here we have a spring peeper. Its scientific name is Pseudacris crucifer. They are found in eastern North America with large populations in marshy wooded areas and non-wooded lowlands around ponds and swamps. They are good climbers, but they generally prefer to be found in leaf litter and hidden, hidden in the ground. The average spring peeper is quite small, about three-fourths of an inch to only one inch big. They can be found in tan, brown, and an olive color. And they generally have a dark cross on their backs that almost resembles an X. But sometimes it can be indistinctive in other individuals. The females are larger, as you can see. And the males generally are smaller and a lighter color. They generally have a darker throat region, but you can't really see on this particular individual. When it comes to mating, they're generally some of the first frogs out in spring, and the males will congregate by the hundreds in ponds, and they'll set up small territories, and they'll sing and they'll call to the female. And generally, the quicker and longer the call, the better chance he has of mating. Their call has been described as a shrill that sounds like a baby chicken, and it's a repeated peeping sound, and that's how they get their name, the spring peeper. The eggs, um, they lay about 100 to 800 to 1,000 eggs, and they like to lay them in shallow areas. They hatch within 12 days, and the tadpoles can metamorphose within 45 to 90 days. They are insectivores. They eat beetles, flies, aquatic insects, and spiders. They are known for their calls, as I said, and it's very interesting they will generally congregate by the hundreds, but they end up splitting themselves into small groups, um, generally trios, and the first male to start the song um, has been known to have the deepest voice of the three in the group. And those are little peepers.